Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the TypeScript. So today we are going to learn about the constructor functions. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my videos. So let's get started. So in JavaScript and the TypeScript, constructor functions are used to create and initialize objects. Okay. They serve as a templates for creating instances of the objects with the specified properties and the methods. In TypeScript, constructor functions are closely related to the classes. So the this constructor is closely related to the classes. Okay. So this is the class part. Okay. So if I go and just this is I think we already have this one. Okay. Right. In this example, the construct constructor functions initializes the first name and the last name properties of the person class when a new instance is created with the new keyword. So when the constructor will call constructor function initializes the first name, this dot first name, this dot last name properties of a person class when a new instance is created. So this is creating the new instance with the help of the new keyword. Okay. The this keyword. Okay. We always use this dot, this dot first name, this dot last name. What is the this keyword? So this keyword refers to the current instance okay, of an object within the context of a function or a method. Okay, So it all it always be a current instance of an object within the context of a function or a method. It allows you to assess and modify the properties and the methods of the objects. It allows, right? So if it is not in the current instance, you cannot assess it and you can't modify it. Okay. In constructor functions and the methods, this is used to refer the instance being created or operated upon. It enables you to distinguish between the properties and the methods of a different instances of the same class. Okay, let's take an example of next one. So here you can see that we have a class counter. So this is the first count. That's a number. So this first, this counts to be zero. So referring this one, this count, this dot count. This dot count plus plus increment. Then we are initializing both new counter and counter two with the new counter. So counter one with increment, counter two with increment, counter two with increment again. So we are as counter one dot count and checking the values. Okay. If I go and just copy this one, let's try this one also. Class. one two it's adding so first counter one dot increment so first zero okay so counter one counter one dot count counter two dot count so output goes to be one and the two okay so keep in mind the following points about the this keyword okay so let's take a look it can behave differently depending upon how the function is called regular function method or event handler sometimes like uh, this dot e uh, event dot target dot value okay so sometimes we have a button and we are going to click on that one so their perspective of this is going to be changed right so it can behave differently in the, in the terms of forms if you are using the forms then this could be a different one sometimes you, you have to bind the bind the forms like this dot bind something like if you pass a method and the callback or store it in a variable, the context of this might change. Okay, if you have a pass method or callback or store it in a variable, it, the context of this might be changed. You can use the techniques like arrow functions or the bind method to ensure that this retains intense context. In TypeScript, constructor functions and this keyword work in conjunction to create and manage the instances of the object with desired properties and the behavior. So take an example of this one, right? <coughs> Let me copy this one. Okay, class department. So here we go with the class, right? So here, if I'm not going to add this one, okay? And I'm calling this describe, okay? Accounting copy, describe, <coughs> accounting describe. And here you can see that accounting copy, describe, I'm calling this function. So describe if i just remove this one okay then 
it work because it doesn't accept anything but here you can see that it accepts the name okay so in that case this refers to the department okay so here like you can see if i want to call this function describe this dot department it's it, it throwing the error why because it accepts the one parameter right if i just giving the name because it accepts the name this dot name to be dummy then see the error gone okay so when you are trying to initialize initiate the class or something so this have the different meanings okay so first we are just uh, like referring this department class okay and here it accepts the parameter name got it so if if i'm just uh, using this one i'm not passing anything over here like the name see it's showing the error when i pass the name over here because here we are just giving the class and class accepts the name and the name here and this dot name will print it out over here okay so make sure this scenario you know that okay so this have the different different perspectives on behalf of the you are using right so make sure you what you are using and you, you are getting on you have to include that the class or something so that the instance should be the context would be the same okay so this is the context part and the constructor part i think we have done with that one anything that is left no okay so this is that one any doubt any query in that just do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day